Hey, 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 everybody. How are we doing tonight? I'm psyched to be here hosting the One Minute Talk Show, the only show that is by teens for teens. Today we're talking about fake IDs, a topic mainstream media won't even touch. But uh, we like to live dangerously here at One Minute Talk Show. Speaking of dangerous living, you ever heard the time Aiden got kicked out of a club for trying to use a fake ID? I was there, of course. So the bouncer, he gets the fake ID and he just busts Aiden right in the nose. And I was dying laughing and so was everybody else in line. And I start chanting, bust his ass, bust his ass. And everybody joins in. Aiden's crying on the ground for like five minutes. So I take a few pictures and I help him up. And the bouncer asks me if I want to get in free of charge, no questions asked, because he liked my chanting. Talk about an awesome night. Talk about an awesome night. We're going to have an awesome night here. It's One Minute Talk Show. Come on. Today, I'm teaching you how to make a fake ID in under a minute. First thing you're gonna, gonna wanna do is erase sample and add real. I'm gonna change my name from Sean to Beep Scrumna. Uh, I'm gonna have my real birthday on here. Just, uh, why? I'm not using this to procure alcohol or drugs, so I don't need to use a fake birthday. Wait, then why, are you, why do you need a fake ID then? To get revaccinated? Wow, wow. How many times? Why? What? Two to three doses is not nearly the scientifically proven needed enough of the the vaccine. All right, dude, don't press them on it. I don't care. You're going to want to get rid of the signature. No one signs things anymore. Uh, usually just end a text with from your bro. 510 inches is the closest I could get to six feet. My six key was broken on my keyboard, so. I don't really care anymore. I don't even know. What? And I added a little seal of approval to the top right, so uh, they know it's real. Oh, look, here it is. Don't use a fake ID. I'll know. How to use a fake ID in under a minute. I'm an average underage Joe looking to buy an alcoholic beverage. And I'm a vigilant store clerk looking for fraudulent identification. First thing you need to be wary of is whether or not the store clerk is blind. Damn, this one isn't blind. Is this all you'll be purchasing? An adult always makes two or more purchases. I will have a pack of cigars, please. Cigars? How adult and not underaged. Here's your pack of cigars, sir. Thank you, sir, for the pack of cigars. Remember, adults say sir. May I please see some identification? This is the moment of truth. Don't f*** this up. Here is my fake ID, sir. Make sure you don't say fake when you hand it over. Ah, oh, yes, excellent. Yes, we got him. Make sure you always celebrate early. But wait, something's kind of... Oh no, we celebrated too early. Celebrated too early for what? Damn, he got me. Join us next week when we'll teach you how to give top in under a minute. All right, what's the most illegal thing you've ever done? Smoke in public. Uh, okay, all right. Is that right to be saying on, on a show like this? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it could be, you know, scripted. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the teleprompter over there is saying that I just smoked some when it wasn't legal. Once? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a bad boy. Yeah, man, I smoked it way more when it wasn't legal. I still don't smoke it much. I don't either. I'm reading the teleprompter. Oh, I've gone into some bars underage. And me and my friends were tripping on acid, and we blew up a bunch of fireworks in the middle of a tennis court. Uh, I've, I've jaywalked. You j When? T today. We got her, guys. No. Come in. No. No. Yeah, this is, we, we've been fucking looking for her for a long time now. It's not what it looks like, okay? I fucking. I know some thick ass white girl that dead ass tags the trains, bro. I showed dead ass just go off after work and tag trains. What, what about you? Remember, I um, snuck into Little Island like at one in the morning. That sounds fresh. You don't know what Little Island is? It's some park in the Hudson River. Hell oh, yeah, you go over there with some drinks and your shorty and you're gonna be good. Yeah. Hey, what's up, motherfuckers? I'm gonna show you how to make a fake ID in under a minute. I need one. Uh, let's go with the UK. You're gonna wanna insert your picture. You gotta get it in the little box. No one's gonna believe this is a person from the UK. So just do some light touches where you need to be. Okay, this looks much better. Next, you're gonna wanna check your source for errors. This license is from the UK. There's bound to be mistakes. See, they misspelled license. Simple fix though, add an S. Why do you want a fake ID again? In 2019, they changed the smoking age from 18 to 21, so I can't buy cigarettes right now, but I should be able to. You don't even smoke. I know. But no one tells Aiden Wall what he can and can't smoke! Anyway, um, after that, you're going to want to get rid of the signature because that's not your signature. And then just throw in your own. Mwah! Wow! Here's my fake ID. Um, legally, don't do this and... 
Tyler and Sean bet me that I couldn't smoke a whole pack of cigarettes in under a minute. Suckers! They bet me a lot of money. Today we're holding the first annual 1MTS Dury Drag. And we're off. For someone who's never smoked once in his life, he's really chuffing those fat darts. I believe we haven't seen anyone this close to breaking the record since Neckbone Ronnie back in 78. He's really going for all those cigarettes at once. A classic play. If he keeps up this pace, we could see a new world record. Looks like he's about done with the Dury portion. Going with the first obstacle first, the chair. He's cleared it! Now he's approaching the foosball table. Oh my god! My lord! My god! He's unstoppable! Oh, but it's not over yet. He still has the last obstacle. Scoring four bullseyes in a row in one try. Well, it looks like he lost all his points and lost the run. This was the 1MTS Dury Dragon obstacle course run. I'm Buck. And I'm extremely ashamed. What's the most illegal thing you've seen someone do? Seen a crackhead. He went into the store, grabbed everything, started running. Seen two crackheads having s*** in the street. I was shocked. Love is love, man. Probably just on like 125th Street. Like guys like doing crack and shit. Like smoking that shit. Yeah, I've been there. I, I, I do crack with them. I saw somebody in this park have sex with a cantaloupe once. So I guess public indecency, and I don't know what the laws are against cantaloupes, but that was that kind of upset me. Probably are not allowed to do that. I don't know how the cantaloupe was feeling about it, you know? Yeah, let's not judge. Let's not judge. Hypothetically, I had friends, like, do a lot of drug deals. Hypothetically, there were boxes of drugs in the past centers. How big yeah. deals are we talking about? Couple hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Smoke crack. Yeah? They smoke crack on the train. I seen that shit. I'm like, hey, stop! I ain't wanna beat him up because you know I'm a hero. I'm like, yo, son, you can't smoke crack on the train. And son said, ah, you know what, Spider Cubs, you a real nigga. I'm gonna go to the next train and smoke my crack. You know what I'm saying? That was crazy, though. That You're was, helping the citizens. I'm helping the citizens. You gotta get high, get high. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Sean's Serial Talk, the only show where you can join in on the fun at home. Have you ever been arrested? <laughs> well, I have. Uh, for a crime I didn't commit. There I was walking down 7th Ave. It had just snowed, I remember, it was last December. I think I spotted Tyler across the street and we were about to cross paths, so I picked up a huge chunk of what I thought was snow and chucked it at the back of the guy's face. It's a little game Tyler and I play called Gotcha Dumbass. Gotcha Dumbass! I scream. I was tackled to the ground and taken to the police station with a bag over my head. Apparently it wasn't Tyler that I hit with an ice ball, it was the mayor's son but they let me go and cleared all charges after I explained the situation and said I was deeply sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's all for a serial talk. Have fun. Bye. We good. You realize you have to refill that now? No, I didn't know. Okay. Yo, you're trying to get lit this weekend, going to buy alcohol, but don't have an ID? Here are our best excuses to get out of it without needing a fake ID. I traded all my possessions to a pawn shop to get here. They're in my other pants. Uh, these are my girlfriend's pants, so I don't have it. I'm not a citizen of this country. Do you take dog tags? Icy? Sure, I'll take an Icy. Works every other time. Oh, I think my mom's calling me. I'm in between DMVs at the moment. I don't have an idea what you're talking about. Ugh. Would you believe I dropped it standing over a sewer grate? Would you believe my dog ate it? I just showed it to you. You don't remember? You said I'm all good. I'm an undercover cop. I sent it back right now. Sorry, I just didn't want to be an organ donor no more. I'm here to sample some beer. I'm a part of the beer committee. I look really ugly in my photo. Can I just tell you my birthday? I, famous. No can do, amigo. You think they'd give me a license? Please be good boys and girls and don't break the law. But use our excuses. If you could commit any crime and get away with it, what would it be? Freeing all the animals. I would be like Alpha Buff from Wicked. She frees the animals. I would uh, hack a bunch of like debt. A hack a bunch of debt? I'll rob a bank. I'm gonna rob Chase because I'm gonna go chase that money. I'd rob something. <laughs> what? <laughs> NYU. I give uh, all the students like their actual tuition, like debt money back. You're a pick me student, huh? Robbery. What would you rob? A bank. Oh, all right, which bank? Chase. Chase. <laughs> Second person who said that. I might have to double down on that robbery, but not a bank though. Super like expensive jewelry store. Let's let's hear it. Like time, night, you're gonna do it, stuff like that. Um, steal from cars. Have you seen the video where someone cracks a window with a can of soda? No. <laughs> it's the carbonation of the can of soda, and they flip it real fast on top of the car, and it shatters the back window. Should try that sometime. War? You would commit war on whom? France. 
I go, I f with it, man. Let's go to war with France. That's a reason in and of itself. Great. Today I'm making a fake ID. Step number one, you're gonna wanna get a sample for a military ID. Not many people have these and they're very useful. Uh, I'm mostly using it to get discounts. You feel morally okay with that? Probably more morally okay than people going to different countries and killing people. Next up, you're gonna wanna put a really good picture of yourself. I chose this picture because I look like Neo in it and I'm holding a super badass gun outside of frame, but you just can't see it. Is that relevant? No but I really like the picture. Okay. There was this big blank spot that I didn't know what to fill in, uh, so I just put my number of kills. It's a really big number because I was such a good army man. Is that, is that real? You is weren't real in power? the army. You gotta be honest with us. You weren't in the army. It's not real. I'll never tell. It's definitely not real. I put in that I was an organ donor because I want to be certain that I can donate my organs twice, both on my real ID and my military ID. So how it works. Well, there's my ID. It sure is a good one, huh? I think it's horrible. I think you don't respect art. I don't think it will work. You're talking down to a veteran of the United States. It's a one-man talk show. A talk show that's amazing.